So, new update dropping tomorrow on Global with Tear, which I... it's been a while. It's been a while a Ragnarok banner, or an original character in general, has dropped, and I don't go into the video saying, ah, oh, you're better off saving for a festival, because this guy is a festival. Like, genuinely, he is so strong, and I have a huge bias for PvP, obviously, but... It's not just PvP. He is optimal for every demonic beast. All of them. <laughs> Dogs, Snake, and the other two that don't matter anymore. He's optimal for all of them. There's going to be a new activity that you have to uh, seemingly face multiple demonic beasts back to back to back. And guess who's going to be good for the damn thing? The guy that's optimal for all of them. So it's... It's really hard to say skip on this banner, considering just how strong he is. Now, for the most part, you won't need dupes. But if you do get lucky, the uh, extra attack related stats you get for all allies when you ult is pretty significant. I just never had a match where he had to ult because his AoE takes at the very least half of everyone's HP at level 1 in pvp he he should have been the anniversary character not him specific he's a regular character i don't care about Ragnarok, but like this should have been bond's kit for the anniversary a character who's unbelievably strong in pvp and pve and works practically anywhere the only downsides for this guy in pve is that his weak point card won't work on the most bosses because they require to be debuffed and it's an AoE card which is generally not very good but uh, apparently the next demonic beast will actually it, they say multiple targets so if they can be debuffed it will be relevant can't promise you that though I think you should summon <laughs> it's been so long the banner is okay I mean Freya is in the banner. Freyer is in the banner. Tonar is in the banner. Scott is in the banner. And if you don't have, you know, DN, she's really good. No red Brynhildr, but I mentioned red Brynhildr because there's like so many good PvP teams for this guy. Right now, if I just go here, I was about to record a video with this team, but I can't find any real players, so I just crapped it. I'm gonna record it later, hopefully. Um, right now, in geared. The most popular team is for top 100 right now is this one because one of the most used defenses is the Bond team. And Scott is really good against Bond because of the debuffing. Uh, and then you have Melascula. So they are forced to attack Tyr because Tyr has a taunt in the beginning of the match. And then they. <laughs> so dumb. They force to, they're forced to attack him. And the thing is. The lower his HP, the more attack he gets. So, if they even kill him somehow, Melascula gets her passive to proc, gets her relic to proc, Scotty has all the debuffs on top of her because of Bond's debuffing, Tyr has maximum attack from his passive, and then he just one-shots with a level 1 card. It's insane. What, what card set? I don't think I have this card set. In, weird, but... I, like, if you watch most of these videos of me recommending banners, right, generally, I recommend skipping non-festival banners. You can go back on all of them. It's very rare I recommend somebody in a non-festival banner. This, this guy is just that, he's just that guy. He's just that guy. So, out of character for me. Hope you didn't summon for Tristan, by the way. <laughs> Hope to God it didn't summon for Tristan. Other stuff coming out this week, Freyr's Relic. If you can craft the Relic, which is used with the new uh, Snake Mats, it's a no-brainer. It's one of the best Relics in the game. It is amazing PvP and for all Demonic Beasts. So again, just like Tyr, he's going to be a character that is likely to be optimal for the new game mode. And he's optimal for all Demonic Beasts. And likely optimal for the next season of Hero Arena, which I didn't even mention for uh, for Tyr, but I can't, I can't envision a world where Tyr is not optimal for Hero Arena. 
he he's just built like that. Also, Liz's relic also uses the uh, new, newer. I guess it's not new anymore. It's been a while, but the newer demonic beast mats for her. If you really like Liz, but honestly, the relic doesn't make her good enough. She's definitely better. I'm talking about PvP, right? If, if you use her for guild boss points, which I don't even know. Is she even still used for guild boss points? Every time I check guild boss, it's... Goddesses don't really use her. <laughs> like, the only goddess team that I see people use now use Ellie Hawk. But, I don't know, maybe I just, I'm just missing out that one time that she is. Um, but for the opt, like, the highest points, right? Maybe for, like, fast points enough points that you just get the rewards maybe she's still like optimal for him i don't know like you can auto it but the relic it's not that good i mean it, it is good what it does is good but liz isn't good so there's that they dropped a new stage on this tree thing and the rewards for the stage are card dupes really good <laughs> This is the one resource that I've been, like, craving the most because I can't upgrade any, any and all card sets I want. So, really good drops. Problem is, the shop sucks. The shop really sucks. You can buy one LR coin per week. One per week. Let me, let me say that again. One. If you need... Three LR coins for some reason. Like, that's the exact number that you need. Or you need just two LR coins. Good for you, but, like, one per week is abysmal. Four coins a month. Compared to, like, okay, you can buy for the same coins one of the the mat for the Demonic Beast, right? So the, the Holy Relics of the Demonic Beast. is also still the number one. So you think, oh, it's the same thing, but it's not, because a relic takes 15 materials, and LR costs 100 coins. <laughs> so, it's so dumb. There should be at least five. Five. 20 per, per month. 20 per month is not is a good amount. And you'd have to, because the, there's a trade-off. You stop grinding for this to grind for this. It's not like you're getting an extra 20 coins. You're replacing something you were already grinding for something different. So, although the drops from the stage are good, which is why I'm actually going to only farm this stage from now on, because I don't need this anymore, I would still recommend to keep buying this from this shop instead. Uh, unless you really, really need to upgrade cards. In which case, you can also buy card dupes right here. But what you can do is every week you get enough to buy this and then you you grind this for the card dupes i just one lr coin is just so low in this patch the nerf for the demonic beast is in effect by the way in the first floor you know how the gauge would take like forever to go down if we don't have pierce cards that's changed any and every card count as a pierce card now or they just made every <laughs> they just removed the restriction of pierce cards and now every card just does that amount right and uh the gauge was reduced from 200 to 100. I swear it was already 100, but sure. I Maybe I'm tripping. Um, the in fact from floor two is a red debuff now, and it's only one turn. Not as consequential as honestly the, 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 the one from this, but, and then in floor three, the gauge goes from 200 to 120 for phase one. Again, the difference the only difference, really, is the fact that you don't need Pierce cards anymore, which is a huge deal for uh, not taking absolutely forever. But it doesn't take from the fact that the, the thing is very hard, right? This is the team I've used. I, I, I used Tyr for the first time against the Demonic Beast uh, the other day. It's been a while. It, this week, don't know the days anymore. I think today's Monday. Uh, I didn't know what the floor 3 did, because I've never attempted it. I I was like, I'm gonna wait for the proper unit for it. Not Freya, Freya's not proper unit for it. It still takes like a long time to clear it, so it's not a proper unit for it. I wanna wait for the proper unit for it, to then actually try. And then, 
I didn't know what Floor 3 did. I didn't know any of the mechanics. I never looked it up. I didn't look for a video. And I did it second try. Again, just throwing cards at him. Because Freya is just that guy. Freya and Tyr together. Freya's Relic and Tyr are just... They are just those... They're just the guys. That That's... That's about it. So although Tyr is technically not the unit for it, Tyr is like Trader Melee. Where, you know, Bird was super hard. And then Trader Melee came out and he made it a joke. Um, because Trader Melee was just that good. Like, he wasn't made for Bird, but Trader Melee was so good that he just completely... <laughs> bypassed difficulty it's a similar case with tier the celebration has its usual bullshit events you know this card thing where you click and you get the rewards from it there's a crocodile boss with the most mediocre shop i've ever seen i mean you are a pendant cool if you don't have this costume cool um the the new card set from this is like giants get extra damage reduction they get De increase damage dealt by up to 10% and defense related stats by up to 5% if they're debuffed. I love card sets, man. That's about it. I mean, at the end of the day, you do whatever you want. I know you're dead. But really hard to pass on this guy. And if you get like some dupes for Freyr, that's even better. Scotty. Scotty has been so relevant these days. So relevant, it's crazy. I mean, she, she's she been good, but she's been, like, low-key good. She's been so relevant for so many things these days. I don't know. I think it's a weird pass-up if you don't summon for this guy, honestly.